C'est normal. Il y a autant pour la thé, mais on va autant pour la thé. Mais on va faire un peu de temps. On va faire un peu de temps. On va faire un peu de temps. Bano fina ngai, bano tanga tanga, bano tanga tanga mi, bano fina koka, apa? Suki na tamu na tamu na bangun bangun mu, suki na tamu na bangun bangun mu kufina ngai, koko 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 tamu na nabi sud. Polio case. The victim of polio lost uh, control of its limbs. Uh, uh, it's a muscular thing, or the nerves actually attacks the nerves, and the nerves make the muscles move. And the these when the nerve is damaged, the muscles no longer move. <laughs> Doctor, doctor, I'm going to pay bills. But I'm going to pay for food. 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 Well, wheelchairs are good for places in the developed world where they've made ramps for people to get into. The streets are paved. Here, most of the roads are, are dirt roads and a lot of them get very muddy. You really need more than a wheelchair, you really need somebody to push it. And then there's the problem of the access to stores and things like, in places like that where churches even, um, what do you do? Do you get out of the wheelchair and crawl in? I traveled to Kinshasa and I met up with a friend of mine who had gone through all the studies to be a brace maker and it occurred to me the light went off sort of why don't you both go back down to Lubumbashi? I have a huge house and I have a big garage and he can make a, a, a brace shop out of my garage. Um, so that's what we did. So with this big house and many rooms, I let um, a lot of people stay for, for a while uh, before and after treatment. That was the first center. It was a, a kid who, was, who had a large, piece, a large stick that he leaned on because one leg was paralyzed and was not useful. And so he was trying to get over with one leg and a stick. And after giving him the brace, there was no need for the stick. We know that people can, can walk with, with a brace eventually, but we, we also know that they're going to need a, an operation first, in most cases, and then a series of plaster casts. The, the plaster is applied in the original position of the limb and then the, after a week um, the plaster is broken in certain key positions and a piece of wood inserted to stretch the limb into a more straight position. But this is a painful process. Uh, in terms of fear, they come to fear the day that the plaster is going to be moved another inch or, but because the pain will ensue. But in general, uh, they're pretty brave. So most of the, the people you see wearing a brace on the streets in Kinshasa, the chances are they'll be one of ours.
we use flat steel and that, that allows us to make hinges at the knee so that um, uh, kids can, can bend and fit in better and, and get around better and get in taxis and whatever. Ladies' handbags, leather things that are available in the market. Cut them up and, and make into pieces that will fit our braces. Ça c'est l'appareil. Nous avons fabriqué ça parce que cet enfant, il marche, il marche comme ça. C'est pour cela que nous avons fabriqué l'appareil avec les ceintures péruviennes pour ramener euh, les jambes vers l'intérieur. The shoes are second-hand shoes sold in the market. Uh, they get a choice of the shoes. They go to the market with the head of the brace shop to pick out the shoes. We, do, we give them out free because families just simply can't afford to pay anything for them. Their, their priority is getting food on the table every night. Well, I know him because he's just about the smallest one here at the time, <laughs> right, right now. And also, um, he's, a, he's a real go-getter. Uh, he, he puts a lot of effort into everything he does, and he walked very quickly, even though he was a crawler before. <laughs> And it's hard to tell in the beginning just how quickly they will get used to it. Uh, there are lots of psychological factors that play a role. Uh, some within days are walking like there's no brace at all. And some are very timid and afraid to put weight on it uh, and take a lot of convincing. Education in the Congo is not free. Even primary school is not free and it's quite expensive. It's out of the reach of many Congolese families. We pay for them to go to school. They're 
they were not able to go to school previously. And once they are braced and able to walk, then they are able to go to school, which explains why many of the children are older than they should be for the grade that they would normally have been in. L'assistant Christian et puis l'assistant euh, euh, Magloire et qui sera présidé bien sûr parce qu'il euh, qu sera présidé bien sûr par euh, la dans une identité de Sandra visée. C'est bon, acteur de son plus. Ok, explique-moi. Saisie Godet. Mais tu n'as pas mis le nom de la création, mais le nom de la création. Wingy came to us with a very crooked leg. Uh, it was due to, I believe, a soccer accident uh, that never got properly treated. We sent him for an operation. He got an operation and get sort of recovered the pieces of his leg and put them back in place fairly soon that he could get around really well. And next thing we know, he's become a, a wrestler. Often asked to the other braces forever. Unfortunately, for many cases, they they are. Uh, but we do have some who are able to discard one brace at least uh, as they get older and um, some they can get around with no brace at all. What makes him tick is really the empathy that he feels for people. It's impossible for him to walk past someone who's on the ground and not offer to help. But a number of the young people that we've helped, he's literally just stopped the car in the street and seen someone crawling on the ground and offered for them to come and receive services from our center.